Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. Happy Mother's Day. The death toll from COVID-19 in Illinois tops 3,400. Today we learned 57 more people died. Tonight we meet a daughter fighting to bring her mom home from a nursing home on Mother's Day. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from 44th and Cicero with their story. Mike. Jim, this is Symphony at Midway that you see behind me, where according to the latest figures from the Illinois Department of Public Health, they've had 150 plus COVID-19 cases and six deaths due to the virus. One of those infected is Diane Norwood. Her daughter says this 63-year-old tested positive last week. So Trinette Lark says she's been trying to get her mom out of the facility ever since. Her mother checked in at the end of February for physical therapy after complications from diabetes. But Lark says officials at the rehabilitation center are refusing to release her mom. She says they won't pick up the phone or return her repeated calls. She says initially they denied that they had any type of outbreak. Signs at the facility now clearly say they are dealing with active COVID-19 cases. Now Lark believes her mom contracted the virus while at Symphony. She says she won't stop until she gets her mom out of this Southwest side facility. And she says she's hoping to have her mom home in time for Mother's Day. I ain't never been without my mom. Yeah, me and my mom have been through some times in our life, but we stood strong together. We all we got, me and her. Now we reached out to the folks at Symphony and we have yet to hear back from officials, but we can tell you they are certainly hardly alone when it comes to dealing with the potential COVID-19 outbreak. Manor Care Health Services at Elk Grove Village, just the latest long-term care facility. Earlier today, they tell CBS2 that they sent seven patients to hospitals out of an abundance of caution. At this point, no positive confirmation as to whether those seven patients have contracted COVID-19. Reporting live on the south, southwest side, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Jim? Mike, thank you.